Good morning, y'all. We got us a little early morning uh, service call here. No heat. We're in the middle of Fern Creek on uh, on Kentucky. Hey guys, uh, thanks so much for stopping in to visit with me over on Rochester Seat and Air Channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a licensed Kentucky HVAC master contractor right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And guys, we got a service call this morning on a GMS 909004CXA, and this is a 2004 90% uh, uh, furnace here. Uh, when we arrived, the gas was shut off. Um, and uh, the electric was shut off to it so uh, we started the gas again and uh, uh, fired up the electric um, I did it did uh, go through its order of operations I got the uh, inducer motor pressure switch proved igniter and then we had our bank of uh, our bank of uh, gas burners light up and uh, basically it proved flame but why we kept hearing a humming a really loud humming All right, guys, we had to show up over here to Goodman. We got a bad blower motor. So uh, let us hop up in here and we'll get All right, man, we might get lucky. Here's a little trick I, I usually do here. So. If not, we'll put some penetrating oil on it. We got lucky. first. <laughs> oh, great. <Okay. laughs> she spoke too soon, man. Okay, we're in there. All right, guys, let me get this thing. Can you pull it to heat for me? Yeah. And just, you know, bring it all the way up to like 80 or whatever. We're going to run it. We're going to run it for a few months. Okay, I've got the switch off here, so we're going to go ahead and fire it up. Now, we should hear our inducer motor fire up first. Then our pressure switch is going to interact. Then we're going to see the glow of the uh, the igniter. Once the igniter reaches what it's supposed to be, it's going to tell the board to open up the gas valve. So it's all an order of operations. Once the flame is proven, our flame sensor is going to pick that up, and then you know it's it's on from there. But let's go ahead. Should have inducer first. Here's our inducer. Next, our pressure switch is going to make. And tell, and tell the furnace that our, our vent here is clear. Then we should see a glow here in, in just a matter of seconds on our igniter. There's our igniter, guys. 
Within a few seconds, we're going to hear the gas valve click and we're going to see uh, flame patterns spread. All right, guys, look at that. All right, within the next, I, I'm not positive about Goodman, but I'd say within 30 to 90 seconds, we're going to hear our blower motor, our bad blower motor that we just changed out fire. This actually uh, creates a little bit of heat in the heat exchanger, so when the you don't want the blower firing up uh, uh, automatically or it's going to have like a rush of cold air in your house. You want to have some heat in the heat exchanger. So we're waiting for our blower. And there we go, Brad. That's it, isn't it? That's it. Now see if that bin feels a little bit better now. I bet I feel something now. Oh, Is that night and day? Yeah. Okay, guys, let, let's let us get buttoned up here. And uh, so you happy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Okay, guys, I really didn't have a whole lot of time to show you earlier. We had to run and get us a motor. But uh, anyway, guys, I've got the, the subco broke out here, the M500. I've got one lead on the, uh, the, the black wire here, the high wire, and I've got my other lead hooked to my ground. And uh, basically, guys, that's what I love about this mega here, man. Bad means bad. Well, you can hear it in there. Can y'all hear it? Yeah, that thing's toasted, dude. Mm -mm. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm.